and just keep it at a nice little joggy trot. Shoulders stay back. Thinking on your back pockets, she does not tip you forward. Look where you want to go because they follow your eye. Lean back and look. Good turn. That's it. And twist your upper body like a Barbie doll. There you go. Very nice. Good for you. Make sure you turn your head. Look where you want to go. That's it. Legs are long. That's it. And do that again. Stay. There you go. It's funny when you have a reason, you can do some really good turns, huh? So what you want to think about is that she stays on her back legs and then in between relax. And it's going to take a lighter aid than you think. It's just touching hair. Good. And do that again. Because what you're trying for is that they turn off your seat ultimately. You know, feeling your hips move, pressure on your thighs. Look. There. And so what we're looking for by turning that quickly and that nicely, that means she's on her hind legs. Okay? So she should be pretty light in the bridle. So what you then take the opportunity the turn gave you, and then on the straight steps, try to keep that same feeling. So now go every other one. Because she's going to, you know, think she knows what you're doing. There. So you kind of change it up a little bit. Good. Make sure you, there you go. Let that elbow come back. There you go. Yeah, just kind of changing it up a little bit. Make sure you turn your head, your elbow and shoulder come back. Good for you. But it kind of adds a little more interest to it for both you and the horse when you have something to turn. Yeah, good for you. I like when she had a made an ugly face, you immediately did the bending. That was very good. That's it. Good. Your arms look really good. There you go. It's amazing how quickly those shoulders can turn, isn't it? Good job. Yeah, it, yeah, I can just say you've really got a good feel in your body. That's it. Because your shoulders are staying absolutely still. That's very good. Good. And when you come through the last one, okay, I want you to just go around the outside on both sides, okay? And then go posting, shorten your reins and ask for that little bit bigger trot. You're just going to circle the jumps here. Shoulders back, hands forward, but don't let her tug the reins. And you're trying to get that bigger trot just by, there you go, by good change on your hips. Yeah, there you go. Because you don't have to kick on them. They don't like to be kicked. That good change in your hips. And one more time. That's it. Nice big trot. Good swing to your hips there. That's it. So this is the trot you want in a dressage test right here. Okay? And then go back sitting trot, back to the joggy trot, and circle, um, either make a circle or circle back through the jumps. Because both you and her can't keep that big trot forever, and it's all about making transitions. And then zigzag through a couple times. And the goal is to keep her soft and keep Marvina's shoulders back and back pockets tucked under. So I really liked how quiet your upper body was going through this. And one more time, going to zigzag through there. And you can feel how she wants to tug a little bit. And that's when you hear me say, wiggle your elbows and shoulders back to your back pockets. And then circle the jump again, posting, and let her see if you can, through that swing in your hips, get that nice big trot again. Good. Shoulders are good. Legs look good. Keep that swing, bigger trot. 
Hands stay in front of you, but she doesn't get to tug the reins. Good. Keep that right elbow under your ear. Bigger trot yet. Swing. Little squeeze on the down. That's it. She has a little pinion there. She has to make ugly faces. And then back sitting trot, joggy trot, and weave through the jumps again. Nice transition on your trot there. Very nice. You didn't have to touch the reins at all. Very good. That's it. Shorten your range just a little bit because I really want them to keep those hands out in front of you. Good. I want you to weave back through them one more time and you pick the spot, but one of the times when you're weaving through and you're straight, have her halt right in the middle. And you can pick whenever it feels like you can get a good one. So that means she can't be fussing and pulling on the turn. Good for you. And then walk her out. Good. Yep, and jog off again. Hey, Debbie. So how nice that halt was. Totally off your body, wasn't it? Yeah, that was really good. So that was just kind of a good opportunity with the shoulders up and moving that you just... And you'll see from the camera angle I was on the back, you totally stopped her with your seat. I mean, you, you can see what, what you'll see on your waist is how your hips went forward and you just kind of sat. Okay? And she totally got square front and back legs, you know, which is what we want in a dressage test. Okay? Now, at intro level, they actually want you to trot, walk, stop. Okay? If you actually go trot, halt like that, they actually would probably penalize. I hate to say as a judge, I wouldn't because it was such a good halt, but it does say trot, um, halt through the walk. Right. Okay, so you always have to make sure you're doing exactly what they say. Okay, but I wanted that type of halt because at training level, okay, which is the next one up, you do go trot, halt. Okay. okay? You're allowed to have a step or two a walk, but you're going to score better if you can get that kind of, that would be an eight. Okay, because, I mean, it was straight and it was square. And she didn't do an ugly face coming into it. 